Hi, future billionaires. Today, I want to reveal to you why you should buy and hold stocks for a very long time. Now, let me make one thing clear. I'm not telling you to buy stocks right now. In fact, I don't know if today or tomorrow or next week or next month is a good time to buy stocks. That depends on your own situation and goals. But what I do know is this. You should only buy stocks if you're willing to hold them for a very long time. And you are not worried about their daily fluctuations. Because that's exactly what Warren Buffet advises everyone about investing in the stock market. But how does Buffet pick the winners and avoid the losers? And how can you follow in his footsteps and achieve financial success? Well, we made this video to answer those fundamental questions. In just a second, I will share with you Warren Buffet's wisdom and experience and show you how you can apply his simple yet effective strategy to your own investing. If you're an investor who is willing to think long term and ignore the noise, then be sure to watch this video until the end. But first things first, I want to articulate to you why buying and selling stocks frequently is a bad idea. You may think that buying and selling stocks frequently is a smart way to make money in the stock market. You may think that you can outsmart the market to avoid making losses, but you're wrong. Here's the thing. Buying and selling stocks frequently is a dumb way to lose money in the stock market. And here's why. Number one, it costs you money. When you trade stocks frequently, you have to pay transaction costs, such as commissions, spreads and fees that eat into your profits. You also have to pay capital gains tax that reduce your after-tax returns. These costs and taxes add up over time and can make a big difference in your long-term results. Warren Buffett says, The frictional cost of trading is huge and leads to suboptimal returns. The best thing to do is to sit on your ass and compound. Number two, it lowers your returns. Warren Buffett says, Our favorite holding period is forever. We are in no hurry to sell, and we are not concerned with the short-term fluctuations of the market. We are confident that the businesses we own will grow their earnings and dividends over time, and that the market will eventually recognize their value. See, when you trade stocks frequently, you're essentially trying to time the market, which is very hard if not impossible to do consistently. You're also exposing yourself to the risk of missing out on the best days of the market, which can have a huge impact on your long-term returns. Studies have shown that a few days of the market account for most of the market's gains, and that missing those days can significantly lower your returns. Number three, it's incredibly stressing. When you trade stocks frequently, you are subject to the emotional swings of the market, which can cloud your judgment and lead to irrational decisions. You are also subject to the influence of the media, the analysts, and the pundits, who often have their own agendas and biases. They can make you feel greedy, fearful, anxious, or regretful, depending on the market's mood. These emotions can interfere with your investing process and make you do things that you may later regret. Warren Buffett says, The stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. The key to investing is not assessing how much an industry is going to affect society, or how much it will grow, but rather determining the competitive advantage of any given company, and above all, the durability of that advantage. Now, instead of buying and selling stocks frequently, what should you do instead? How should you invest in the stock market if you want to make money without distress? Let's find out in the next section. If you don't mind, take a quick second to support this channel by smashing the subscribe button. And let's continue. So, how do you buy stocks and never sell? How do you find the great businesses that you can hold for the long term and ignore the market fluctuations? Here are some tips and guidelines that Warren Buffet follows and that you can apply to your own investing. Before you buy any stocks, you need to understand the business, the industry, the competitive advantage, the financials, the valuation, and the risks of the subject company. You should also have a clear idea of why you are buying the stock and what your expectations are by doing research about the company's history and its financials. 
Warren Buffet says, never invest in a business you cannot understand. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Now here's the thing. You don't need to own dozens or hundreds of stocks to be a successful investor. In fact, owning too many stocks can dilute your returns and increase your complexity. Instead, you should focus on a few high-quality stocks that you are confident in and that you can monitor closely. Warren Buffet says it's better to have a partial interest in the Hope Diamond than to own all of a rhinestone. Diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you are doing. Buffet continues and says, "Be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful." The most common cause of low prices is pessimism. We want to do business in such an environment not because we like pessimism, but because we like the prices it produces. Here's the thing: you don't need to follow anyone to be a successful investor. Not even the market. In fact, following the crowd or market can often lead to poor results, as you may end up buying high and selling low. Instead, you should think independently and act rationally, and take advantage of the opportunities that the market offers you. Ultimately, practice patience. Warren Buffet says the stock market is a no-called strike game. You don't have to swing at everything. You can wait for your pitch. The problem when you're a money manager is that your fans keep yelling, "Swing your bum!" The most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd or against the crowd. You see, being in a hurry can often lead to mistakes, costs, and taxes. Instead, you should be patient and wait for the right opportunities, and then act decisively and hold for the long term. While buying stocks and never selling is a sound and simple strategy, it is not without its caveats and challenges. Here are some of the things that you should be aware of and prepared for if you want to adopt this approach. Number one, you need to have enough cash and liquidity. Buying stocks and never selling means that you are locking up your money in the stock market for the long term, and that you are not relying on it for your current or future expenses. This means that you need to have enough cash and liquidity to cover your living costs, emergencies, and other financial goals without having to sell your stocks. You also need to have enough cash and liquidity to take advantage of new opportunities that may arise in the market, such as buying more stocks when they are cheap or investing in other assets or businesses. Warren Buffet says, "Cash is to a business as oxygen is to an individual." Never thought about it when it is present. The only thing in mind when it is absent. Number two, you need to be able to withstand volatility and losses. According to Warren Buffet, you only find out who is swimming naked when the tide goes out. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Here's the thing: buying stocks and never selling means that you're exposing yourself to the volatility and losses of the stock market, and that you are not trying to avoid them or minimize them. This means that you need to be able to withstand the ups and downs of the market and the fluctuations of your portfolio value without panicking or losing faith. You also need to be able to withstand the possibility of losing a large portion of your investment or even all of it in case of a permanent impairment of the business value or a fraud or a bankruptcy. Number three, you need to be able to adapt and change your mind. Buying stocks and never selling means that you are committed to your investments for the long term, and that you are not easily swayed by the opinions or actions of others. However, this does not mean that you are stubborn or dogmatic, or that you are blind to the changes or realities of the market or the business. This means that you need to be able to adapt and change your mind when the facts or circumstances warrant it, and when you have a valid reason to do so. You also need to be able to admit your mistakes and learn from them and move on. Warren Buffet says, "When the facts change, I change my mind." What do you do, sir? It's a mistake to be fearful of making mistakes. As you can see, buying stocks and never selling is not a complicated technique. It's just a matter of finding great businesses, buying them at reasonable prices, and holding them for the long term. 
regardless of the market fluctuations. It also means having the right mindset and temperament to ignore the noise and the emotions and to focus on the value. Of course, this approach is not for everyone, and it may not suit your personality, goals, or risk tolerance. But if you're willing to give it a try, you may find that it is a rewarding and satisfying way to invest in the stock market and to achieve financial success. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.